Hey everyone, quick bonus video today. We're going to be looking at how to use branching and pull requests in GitHub. And we're going to be adapting our Azure DevOps pipeline so that it can run from other branches rather than the main. There are a whole load of reasons why we would use branches and source control in general. The two of the bigger ones are, firstly, it allows for better team collaboration. Everyone can work on their own thing individually, have their own branch, and not worry about you know everyone breaking each other's code. Now, the other one that's important, even if you're not working on a team, is the fact that it gives you a big trace of everything that's gone on. So if something goes wrong, you could find exactly where it happened to, and you can even revert your code back to the previous version. So we're going to start by looking at how to create a branch on GitHub. So if you go to your main code repository here, and we can click on here, and we can click View All Branches. And this will give you a list of all the branches you have. So if we go to a new branch in the top right, you can give it a branch name. We're actually going to call it Feature Slash Test Branch. Now it's a common standard among developers to prepend your branch name with something like feature slash or bug slash or release slash, and it helps define sort of what that branch is going to be about. Some source control viewers also use this um, notation here to actually show your stuff inside a separate folder. So you be able to click into a folder called feature and see test branch. We're going to base our branch off of main and we we'll hit create branch. Now that we set up our branch remotely in GitHub, we have to get it locally. So if we go to Visual Studio, we go to the Git Changes window, we can drop down at the top and it will show us our local branches and our remote branches. And we can also create a branch here if we wanted to. And we have to click this button here, which is Fetch. And that basically gets all of the remote branches and lets us see them here. What we want to do is we want to go to a remote and it's got a load of remote branches here. The one that we made was Test Branch. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to switch to it. And what that's also going to do show it up in the local branches here as well and now it means we're working on this branch locally and we can make any changes we want to push up what we're actually going to do is hop over to azure devops and this is where our pipeline is and we're going to go edit and now in this drop down box here we have our new branch and now we can work on our branch directly in azure devops so the thing that we want to look at is the trigger here now this is currently set to main and what we want to do to add a new trigger in is this this means that any branch that starts with a feature and a slash with anything following it is going to be picked up as a trigger. There's another format you can use, which is this, and this lets you explicitly state a few more things, most notably here, exclude. So we could say everything that starts with feature, but doesn't then follow with exploratory. So, you know, if you're trying to test stuff out and you don't really know what it's going to look like, you might not want it to push on the branch. But for our example, what we're going to do is just have this here, and that just means everything because I'm not too worried at the moment about you know managing different things for branches. And now when we hit save, it will actually do this as a commit itself. So our commit message, change pipeline trigger, we don't care about an extended description. Now we can commit it to a new branch if we want, but actually because we made this branch in GitHub specifically for this, we'll commit it to our current one. And when you hit save, it will automatically run. And now we can see that it's running. And note this part here, this is actually telling us what triggered the run. So in this case, it was because we committed a push to feature slash test branch. And now we have our pipeline building our branch. Let's take a look at how we do a pull request for it. So back over here in GitHub, we go to pull requests. And now we're going to click on compare and pull request. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to show us the differences between the old code and the new code. So here we can see it used to be main and now it's anything. At this point, you can go through all your code, see all the changes you've made. And if there's anything you need to tidy up, this is the place to do it because you don't want other people to be reviewing rubbish that doesn't need to be in there, like comments or bits of code that weren't supposed to be in the final version. So back up here, we've got our title. The title is going to be by default the same as your last commit message. For us, that's fine because we only had one commit and it describes everything inside it. But make sure your title describes all of the changes in the whole branch. And then here, you can add an extra description, but we're not going to worry about that for now. And we're just going to hit create pull request. And now that will take you back over to the main pull request window. And if you give it a couple of seconds, you'll notice that it will have changed to something like this. Now what this does is the GitHub hook actually runs on Azure DevOps our pipeline again to make sure everything is still okay to run. If we go back to Azure DevOps, we can now see that a new run has been triggered. And if we go into it, you can actually see here the trigger has changed. And this means that a pull request has triggered the pipeline to run. And now that we can see the builds passed in Azure DevOps, and we've gone to successful over here. Now, before we hit merge, there's one more thing I want to show you. If we go up here, we can go to files changed. 
And now this gives you an overview after the pull request has been created of everything that's changed. So if you want someone to do a code review and check your work, this is where they'll come and you'll see this little plus appearing. They can click on that, put a comment like that, and then they can start a review here or just add one comment. But this lets someone tell you what they think of your code and does anything need to change. But if we go back here and let's assume everything is fine for now, we can hit merge pull request and confirm merge. And that has now merged our branch into main. And the last thing we want to do is click on delete branch so that the branch isn't hanging around when we don't need it anymore. Just a quick video there showing you how branching and pull requests work in GitHub and Azure DevOps. And now we're set so that when we continue in the Azure migration series, we don't have to worry about, you know, just putting everything into the main branch and we can securely carry on our development knowing that if we make any mistakes, we can go back to a working code from the past. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks very much for watching.